I just stalked Arak, snuck into his house, and I'm currently on his roof without him having any idea. It kinda got me thinking, I, am I a bad person? No, I'm a really good person. Let me explain. If you watch Arak, you may recognize me. I'm in literally all of his videos. Nathan Haynes, get rest. No, I'm not gonna lie. You must be. Yeah! But I'm the only one of the boys in the videos that does not live in this house right here. It kinda, it kinda sucks. It's not fair. Um, but that changes today. I'm gonna be assembling a bedroom on his roof, cleaning up after him, and cooking every single meal he's gonna eat for the next 100 hours and attempt to be the best roommate ever. After the 100 hours, I'm gonna come clean and tell him, and hopefully he accepts me with open arms. Sorry, that was that was a little intense. I, I, I swear I'm a normal, I'm a normal person. I threw together the rest of my bedroom set right on top of Arak's roof so I could sleep there without him having any idea. I'm gonna take a little nap until about 3, 4 in the morning. Go downstairs and make some breakfast for my boy. Before I wake up and start to be the best roommate that ever existed, I have to say, please never do this. Although Arak has no idea I'm doing this, I have the blessing of all of his roommates and I have permission to be here. Don't be an idiot. It's time to wake up, boys and girls. We got some breakfast to make. As I mentioned earlier, I did have all of his roommates in on it, so I had Mac leave one of the doors unlocked for me. All right, I'm in. Now try and picture this. Waking up to a fresh cooked breakfast cooked by someone who most definitely broke into your house. You might be pretty flattered. At least that's what I was hoping Arak would feel when he woke up the next morning to see it. Now I couldn't blow my cover already, so I just said it was from Anonymous. I even went as far as to clean his kitchen. Try and name a better roommate. I left a hidden camera out so I could see his reaction to make sure he was as happy as I was hoping. He he's gonna love it. If I'm being honest, I should have expected this. Eric posted a story asking if someone snuck in, which was honestly a pretty good guess. But what I didn't take into account is that he would actually be very creeped out by the anonymous chef. So I'm gonna do the only logical thing. I'm gonna continue cooking all of his meals until he trusts me as his chef. Now Mac and I hung out for a little while waiting for Eric to go to bed, and I kind of told him my idea. And this is what he had to say about it. Shut the my plan would require Mac to go to the grocery store and buy every single egg they had available. God, that's a lot of eggs. And that was because I was going to make Arak 20 plates of breakfast. If I was going to be his roommate, I needed to try a lot harder. <laughs> With only half an hour till Arak woke up, I wrote my anonymous letter and climbed back up to the roof. It was only a matter of time before he'd wake up and see it. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I genuinely am not in on this. I'm posting this because I'm scared. Oof. I know you did not eat, so there's time, there's options. What? This was without a doubt my second strike. What I thought was a nice gesture was actually even creepier than the one plate of breakfast. It was actually 20 times as creepy. Eric just left the house, so I have a couple minutes to speak up right now, which is great because I want to tell you about something, something that's really bothering me. Every single time I go onto YouTube and I type in Tyler, I'm not even an option to click on. I'm so not famous that finding my channel is almost impossible. So I've made it a goal to become the most subscribed to Tyler on all of YouTube, but baby steps. The first Tyler we're going after is Tyler Williams. Now this dude has like 91, thousand subscribers. Look, I have no hard feelings for this guy. I just never want to see his face and I don't like him at all. Please subscribe if you're enjoying the video. I appreciate the support. Eric's probably going to be back soon, so I should stop screaming. I wanted nothing more than to live in this house. So while I was on the roof, I watched over Eric's every move like a good roommate does. I had to chill in my bedroom for a while till the sun went down. And when he went out to dinner at nighttime, I went back into his house. All the boys went out to dinner, meaning I have the house to myself for a couple minutes. I'm gonna leave a pizza out for Eric. I bought a pizza before I came here. For those of you who don't know, pizza is Eric's favorite food. So leaving it on the table should theoretically make him happy? While that was cooking, I thought I'd make myself comfortable. Using Eric's house when he can come back at any point was definitely a risky idea. But if I was going to live here, I needed to have fun too. It's strange, after being here for a couple days, it really did start to feel like home. Oh, Amazon? Oh, uh, thank you very much. This is my home. It wasn't too long till Eric was on his way back and I needed to leave out my special surprise for him. I love pizza. I love Eric. Anonymous. I went and set up a GoPro to get that fire angle for you guys and then I went upstairs. To my room. <laughs> I texted one of his editors, Manus, to record the whole thing for me. Was it arrived? 
I was sitting on the roof waiting for Eric to hopefully post a story saying how grateful he was for this delicious pizza. And this is what I got. Uh, Please stop. I'm down for you to stop. Anonymous please. feaster. You need to knock it off, all right? Well, maybe you should try that. I'm not eating anything that comes here, bro. This is terrifying. I wonder who did that. <laughs> Best roommate ever. There's a rabid fan planting food inside of our house for you to eat. What is your completely candid and honest opinion about this? This, my friends, was strike three. Eric had enough and decided to lock up the whole house extra tight. I'm locking up the whole house. I was locked out of the house with no hope whatsoever, and I, I felt pretty terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Eric was definitely not feeling very good about this, and then it got even worse. And by worse, I mean horrible. Let me explain. I was sleeping on the roof, and I'm, I'm ready to go to bed. It's freezing cold outside, and I hear these kids screaming air rack at the top of their lungs. So loud to the point that Eric wakes up, Mac wakes up, I, everyone in the house wakes up. That's never happened to us before. Mid challenge. Which means that now Eric thinks that the people that have been in our house are those kids. In no way, shape, or form does this video still have a good taste. Yeah, and I'm super worried that if I don't end the challenge now that it actually might affect my relationship with Eric. To make up for it, I bought him a little bit of a, a, little bit of a surprise. I'm gonna surprise Eric and you guys at the same time with said gift literally tomorrow morning. Tyler, yeah, you gotta get up. Yo, yo, wake up. I think Eric found your GoPro on the roof. He said he's gonna smash it. My original plan of waking up and getting my head straight before I told Eric was through the window. Eric found my hidden GoPro on the roof, and I had no choice but to tell him before he broke it. At the same exact moment that I'm walking out to go tell Eric, he climbs up to the roof. I was hit with a wave of anxiety because I had no idea how pissed off Eric would be. Yo. Know about what? The bed on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. I have a lot to come clean about. A lot. Here, uh, let me let me come up there. It was finally time to tell Eric what I had been up to and see if he would accept me as his roommate. So I see you found my room. What are you talking? Bro, I'm so confused right now. Take a seat. Take a seat. Welcome in. Dude, I was so scared when I saw this when I just came up here. This was so scary. This is like my worst nightmare. You've been, you've been sleeping on top of the house. Wait, are you responsible for the eggs? Yes. I did all the egg egging. I thought it was poison. I'm cutting the challenge really short. I was actually supposed to do this for another like day. Uh-huh. But after seeing those kids do that last night, uh -huh. I actually had like a total like change in heart. Uh-huh. I felt horrible. <laughs> I'm like, this is like Eric's like not sleeping. Yeah. So to make up for it, I decided to cut the challenge early. Uh-huh. And I spent an irresponsible amount of money on a full security system for your house. You did? Yes. You did this already? I already bought it. It's on the way. I'm going to install it for you as well. Oh, are you serious? All cameras around the house. Oh, that actually means a lot. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, of course, bro. Why are you... Why? <laughs> what is this? Well, I don't understand why. <laughs> what, what, what? Is this lemonade or... That's a uh, fresh squeezed uh, piss. Are you serious? <laughs> Though you did this, you're one of my best friends. And I appreciate you. Watching this in from the Mafia, make sure you subscribe. Kids getting to 100K, what, by the end of the month, probably? By the end of the month? Yeah, probably. Holy Thanks God. to you guys. Please don't come to my house, guys. <laughs> so lame. God, it's... Ruins the videos. You should definitely not do this. You're gonna face jail time if you get caught. Serious? I'm not even joking, bro. It's been a pleasure. Uh, can I move in? Right here? Yeah, uh, you, I could have if you would have asked me, but this is really scary, so no. <laughs>